take a look at this. Of course, it's a two-headed snake. Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I hope your start of your day has been amazing. We are now in Dells, Wisconsin, and there's a lot of snow out here, but it is absolutely gorgeous, and today is gonna be amazing. We are heading over to Alligator Alley, which is a reptile zoo. I'm doing a little fact-finding, seeing how these reptile zoo things work, hopefully helping me with my ideas. Now, I do have a little bit of concern here, because I did talk to someone on the phone a couple days ago, and they said, sure, come on by, and we'll give you the behind the scenes, but they weren't 100% sure. So, listen, I drove seven and a half hours, and I'm not even 100% sure what's gonna happen, but we're gonna head over there, and hopefully things work out. <laughs> we made it here. Check it out. They got a giant anaconda, albino alligator, two-headed snake, 400-pound albino Burmese python. This place looks awesome. Wish me luck, guys. I hope that we're going to be able to sweet talk them into getting behind the scenes and get some access. I got my fingers crossed. I think it's going to work, but wish me luck. All right, so things worked out perfectly. I'm in Alligator Alley. I get to look around for a little while, and then we're gonna get a little bit behind the scenes action and see some stuff, so I am super excited about it. This place is absolutely ridiculous. Look at the alligators, guys, and, and oh my God, there's, there's two-headed snakes and two-headed turtles, and uh, there is a ton of cool stuff. This place is way cooler than I even expected. Oh, guys, take a look at albino alligator. Oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. That's a beauty right there. Holy cow, guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. It's an albino Burmese python. That thing is enormous. Can you imagine that thing is huge? Look at, look at the, that's the size of my hand. Look at all these alligators. Oh, there's a retic. Look at it. It's just like Lucy. It's the same thing. It's a tiger reticulated python. Oh my gosh. Look how cool. And I really like the displays. Again, that's one of the big reasons why I came is I wanted to see how he set up this place. It's almost like, looks like almost like an epoxy type of like, you know, thing set up here. Would be super easy to clean. They all have drains in them, so you could just spray it down. This is really great. Another big reticulated pipe. Look at that thing. Ooh. That is really big. Oh my gosh. Uh, what? Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's a green anaconda. That is a massive green anaconda. That is so awesome. Oh, wow. These are some big spectacle payment. And the thing that I think that I'm already starting to see here at Alligator Alley is every single animal they have is really big, really well fed, and, and really looks awesome. So for a spectacle payment, that is one chubby monkey right there. I tell you what, I mean, that is amazing. So I'm really kind of digging this idea, the fact that, you know, really this place is kind of a circle. And in the middle, there's this huge long tank that goes all the way from over here, all the way down to the end over there. And it's just the alligator. So from all sides that you walk around, you see this big alligator, you know, kind of thing. And it's pretty cool. There's got to be, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 alligators in there. And what's interesting is, take a look at this. You actually... <laughs> This is, this is kind of interesting. See this thing right here? You can actually buy like little pieces of meat and you put them in this hole right here and then you just push that down and it falls down and the alligators actually eat the meat from that thing. It's kind of a neat little, you know, gimmicky thing, but I think it's pretty cool and that's probably a lot why the, oh, wait a second guys, look at this. I cannot believe I didn't see this before. Holy moly, that is a massive snapping turtle. That's gotta be one of the biggest alligator snappers I've ever seen. That is a cool looking animal. That is an albino snapping turtle. I don't know if you guys remember on the Snake Bites episode when I was down in Texas, I showed the little baby Mata Mata turtle that I said was really amazing, that looked almost like a leaf. Well, this is what it looks like as an adult. That gives you an idea how big they get. 
that is a big animal. And again, the thing that's really crazy is that a lot of the animals I'm seeing here are some of the biggest ones I've ever seen. I mean, that's one of the biggest Matamatas I've ever seen for sure. Certainly that snapping turtle was huge. I mean, the anaconda is absolutely incredible. But uh, you know, I think that's what's neat about zoos like this. And it's giving me a lot of ideas is that, you know, you really want to have animals that really pop and that really are exceptional specimens. I mean, look at this albino alligator right here. I mean, that thing is so gorgeous. You know, it's all these like million little ideas that I'm kind of going through my head. Like obviously he's got a spot here that's kind of almost like a little bit of a, a jungly scene. This is obviously where people would take pictures and then he prints them off right here. You know, again, it's just little things like that. If people are coming to your zoo and they want that memory, they want to have a cool picture, you need a cool spot, you know? So these are all little things that I'm thinking of. And he has a little retail spot here too. It's just got, you know, some gifts, a few little curves, and he actually has even a handful of animals for sale here. So almost like a little store in here. This place is really cool. I mean, it's decorated cool. It's not like something really huge and outlandish, but something that's really cool. And here, I mean, the admission's only like seven bucks. I mean, so for to see such cool animals for seven dollars, this is pretty cool. Now, great. Granted, he's in a great location. The Dells is a great place uh, because it's such a tourist area. But uh, this place is really impressive. All right, so first off, make noise. Basically, that's a trigger for the gators. Obviously, they know they're gonna get set. And look at these guys. They are ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead, get a piece of meat or two. Throw the meat in there. Pop it down. <laughs> and, then they, and then they just fight over it. The trigger, the meat. And there they go. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool idea to be honest with you because, you know, even though I feed gators all the time, uh, for normal people to be involved in feeding gators, that's a, it's a great way to do it. So it's really cool. But what it's really about here too is just the education and entertainment for families. And, and certainly this family here is having a class here. They came, you guys drove three hours, right? Yeah. Okay. Three and a half hours they drove just to come to this place, and uh, they're having an absolute blast. They got they got to feed the gators. They got to see the the dwarf came and get fed. Uh, they fed a snake. I mean, this is a great way to spend a day, don't you think? And uh, and certainly they're cool. And hey, these guys are excited to be on YouTube, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's been a fun time. It's really cool to see a family just so excited about coming to a reptile place like this. The dad is just freaking out about the fact that he gets to hold an alligator. And actually the kids are going to jump in a picture, but he's just like, I get to hold an alligator today. And that's the type of stuff that just really makes me excited about potentially having a zoo like this. Let's check this family out, having a great time. <laughs> How cool is that? Again, it's just neat to see that people get an interaction with an animal like that. Uh, we take it for granted sometimes because I'm around them all the time, but to these guys, this is the first time they've ever held an alligator and they were so excited about it. We uh, came over to the private collection really quick, which is really awesome. And <laughs> the snake is ridiculous. That is, no, is that an Anry then? Blair's no. face? Or is it just a straight up, like, black Blair's face? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Remember, I've shown you guys the Blair's face that have the red. This just has the black banding. That is ridiculous. Those are some gorgeous animals. Take a look. Oh my god. You gotta put me on the list for these, man. If you have babies, I want some. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the contrast on that one. Woo! Whoa! What? That thing's on fire. That thing is crazy. It's like glowing. Did you? Oh my gosh. Oh! 
Now that's a gray band of king snake right there. Certainly one of my favorite Burmese pythons would be the black eyed lucies, which are, are basically the super form of fires. But uh, this girl is actually full of eggs, so we won't like mess her, but you can just see how fat she is, just plump as could be. But I mean, just like that almost white snake with black eyes, I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so Orlando is pulling out all the stops. Take a look at this man. This is actually a two-bodied snapping turtle. So they're basically conjoined twins. <laughs> this happens to be Cheech and Chong. Hey, you ain't a chick! This is a two-headed snapping turtle. How crazy is that, huh? Two heads on one turtle. That's awesome. It's obvious that Orlando is really into his turtles because this is such a cool animal. This is actually, there. there's quite a few albino snapping turtles out there, but this seems to be like a T-positive albino because it's definitely more of a, a purplish look with ruby eyes. Wow, that is really awesome. So this behind the scenes, each one of these guys has a drain, which is awesome. Huge piping so that you can really wash down the cage really well. And of course you have back access to all the cages, which is, uh, is the best way to go for sure. This is great. Legitimately one of the biggest albino Burmese pythons probably on the planet. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That thing is a monster. What a cool snake though. I mean, just take a look at the size of that thing. I mean, that that is, that's massive and that's awesome. I tell you what guys, I would have driven eight hours just for this experience alone. Take a look at this. Of course, it's a two-headed snake. If they cut off one head, two more shall take its place. I mean, you guys know that I've had two-headed snakes, I've hatched two-headed snakes, but I've never had one live long enough to really have it as an adult. Or the one that did live to adult, I sold too young and I still regret it to this day. But a two-headed snake is an amazing animal and it's just kind of the dream. I mean, how insane is that? Again, I'll be honest with you, I would have came here just to see this animal, not to mention all the other amazing things that I've seen in Orlando's place. I mean, I tell you what guys, if you ever get out to Wisconsin in the Dells area, you gotta visit Alligator Alley. This place is ridiculous. I'll put all of his links and everything down in my description. Like I said, make sure to check it out. It is super cool. And trust me, this gave me a lot of ideas for my zoo coming up in the future. But hey, the two-headed king steak, how awesome is that? So for those of you that don't know, the Dells is a place in Wisconsin that's just basically like a tourist crazy adventure type thing. Obviously I came all this way to see the reptile zoo, but I'm not going to come all this way and not do some kind of cool amusement thing. So I don't know, I was driving by and saw this lost temple thing. I love Indiana Jones, so I thought let's go in and take a look and see what this is all about. Okay, so this is kind of like a little bit of a fun house, but Indiana Jones temple style. So let's go take a look. It's a little freaky the fact that I'm the only one in here. <laughs> There's nobody else at all. So I don't know what to expect. <laughs> this place is actually pretty funny. I have a feeling that at the end of this I'm going to think I just wasted five dollars because it's just like walking through a fake jungle. But uh, but it's still pretty cool. It's like I said, it's kind of freaky that you know you're alone in here. So uh, definitely wild. <laughs> so hokey, man. So hokey, but awesome. And that's it. And like I told you, yes, I kind of feel like I wasted $5, but hey, it was still awesome. That was really an amazing time. The Dells are so cool and that Reptile Zoo was awesome. I gotta get back here during the summertime and really take it all in when it's nice outside. I'm gonna end up staying in the area for one more night and tomorrow morning on my way home, I'm gonna stop at a place called Reptile Rapture, which is touted as the largest little pet shop in the country. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds like they have a really cool reptile collection. So I'm gonna go by and just check it out because it's kind of on my way way home tomorrow so uh, regardless this has been an amazing day a definitely full day I have a lot to think about I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I also hope that you have an amazing day going forward make sure to smash that like button and hit that notification bell and make sure to be kind to somebody and as always guys I'm gonna see you tomorrow